Well, we look ahead now, guys, to the 49ers game Thursday night right here at Lumen Field. This place is going to be loud. It's going to be a lot of fun for the fans, hopefully a lot of fun for the players to get this win. Steve, we'll start with you. Uh, you look at this 49ers team that, uh, you know, they lose Debo Samuel today to an injury, but, boy, they just seem to continue. They, you know, Brock Purdy starts for them. They just keep going forward. Stop me if you've heard this story. They can run the football, and they've been able to stop the run. That's what teams have done against the Seahawks here in this last four or five game stretch where Seattle's had some ups and downs. 49ers are as good at that as anybody. They are a terrific team. Um, it's going to be a test. The one good thing about playing Thursday night is you can flush this one like right now. They'll look at the film tonight or tomorrow morning. That's it. Already starting to work on the 49ers. And it's going to be a tough task. That is a good ball club. Yeah, and Walt, as, as a former player yourself, and it, it seems like – you want to get back on the field as fast as possible after something like this. Oh, definitely you want to. You know, you don't want to look at this fan. Like you said, this is the vision game. So you want to try to get as much as you can get ready because you won't do that much practice going to a quick Thursday night game like that. So, like he said, it's all about watching fans, seeing the mistakes, and then getting ready for the 49ers. But still, again, with this bad loss, you want to get back on it and say that this still is a good team. All right, Steve, they're sitting here at 7-6, and six, and it looks like it's going to be a battle all the way down, week in and week out, if they can just work their way into a wild card spot. But this – every week's a playoff game well it is and and you gotta a you gotta hope for a little bit of luck but you also need to get some guys healthy i mean we need to get those guys back in the running back position you know you're missing your top two running backs taking nothing away from travis or tony jones jr but those guys were number three and four on the depth chart and there was a reason why because ken walker the third is so good you got to get him back uh dallas is a is a terrific running back you got to get him back on the field you have to find a way to run the football and take a little pressure off of Geno, who, you know, again, today made some throws that maybe were a little bit uncharacteristic for Geno. But the biggest thing is, defensively, you had better figure out a way to stop the bleeding uh, up front against the run, or it's going to be this way just through the rest of the season. I know Pete and the coaches understand and the players know how to do it. Now it's a matter of executing it. Uh, the Panthers came into this game much improved since they made the coaching change. Uh, Darnold seemed to have a solid game out there. They had a lot of guys contributing today. And, Walt, uh, we talked about a little bit earlier, but um, is it possible that that game with the 49ers is so big on Thursday <laughs> that this team uh, s lost a little focus on this game? I think so. I think it's, it's, uh, it's natural to think about that game. You Notice know, a Thursday night game. It's natural. But still, again, I call these are like trap games. These are the games where you look at the record and say, hey, we can win this game. But then you get out there. And I, like I said earlier, these teams that don't have a shot at the playoff, they still playing for their jobs too. Though. So these guys, this going to be like this throughout the whole season. Every game is going to be tough because these guys are playing for a job for next year. So you look, you don't never look past the other opponent until you play this opponent, and you saw that tonight. Yeah, yeah. Panthers were in control a lot throughout this whole game. But, again, the Seahawks lose it 30 to 24 not much time to get ready for the 49ers but it's coming up fast for walter jones and steve rabel chris egan back from the king five studios i'm paul sylvie thank you for joining us we will be here thursday nights lumen field for the big game against the 49ers